What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today on the world of indie games, we're going to be doing a yearly checkup on Power of Ten. If you've never seen Power of Ten before, this is a early access roguelike where you are a starfighter pilot and your goal is to upgrade your ship as much as possible and run planetary interference on a pirate invasion. So basically the core gameplay loop of the game is that there are planets in systems and these planets will come under attack by pirates periodically. The goal is to save the requisite amount of millions of people in each area and then move on to the next. And so during the course of this game, you're going to be collecting upgrades. You're going to be kind of like commandeering ships. You're going to be blowing up pirates and explosive fare. And honestly, I have a hard time putting my finger on it. But I think this game, it just has such a pleasing art style. Like, I don't know what it is about the color palette, I don't know what it is about the design of the game, but it's delightfully kind of like low res and yet beautiful at the same time. I just really, really like the visual flair of this game. And so after a year of waiting for updates, they've had pretty much monthly updates since the last time we've covered it. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of new content here for us to dive on into. We're going to check the game out for about 25-30 minutes and see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list or otherwise pass on. If after watching this video you did indeed want to get the game for yourself, i got a link for you down below. On top of that, you can also find a link to my Discord and my Twitch stream. Just in case you wanted to hang out with me personally or come say hello because I have a desperate need for attention. Uh, let's go ahead and start a new game. That was tongue-in-cheek, by the way. Uh, there's always, there's always going to be that one guy's like, oh, I knew it. Uh, I knew it. I've had him pegged. It's called self-deprecation. Leave me alone. Uh, so we've got a number of ships that I've unlocked here. I have the Burl. I have the Foxel, I have the Switchblade, and I have the Reverter. And obviously, a number of the ships I haven't unlocked yet. Uh, these ships do come in kind of like classic forms. So like the Burl is a very, very easy ship to understand. It has a shield, it blocks damage, it shoots a machine gun. It's that simple. Uh, you've also got the Foxel. This ship is very, very fast. It's got a barrel roll that it can do pretty frequently in order to avoid damage. There's the Switchblade. Uh, this thing basically has a shotgun that it fires all over the place, and then it can put up a Ninja Star shield. And then the Reverter is actually really, really interesting. The Reverter can revert your ship back to a position that it occupied like three seconds ago with its special ability. And then its weapon is that it distorts time fields in order to damage the enemy. Uh, there's a bunch of skins for these ships as well that you'll be unlocking as you play the game if you wanted to have them like in different colors you can do that I like green so I usually just go with green we'll start out with the burl so that you guys can get a rough idea of how the game functions without like tons of complicated mechanics and we'll get it going so this right here is a planet this right here is a planetary defense shield. The goal of the game is to activate planetary defense shields to protect the millions of people that exist on those planets from pirate invasions. Over on the right of the UI, you will see the barometer for whether or not we are winning or losing. For Region 1, we have saved 0 out of 200 million people, and we have not lost 100 million people. And so basically, the red meter fills up, you fail to save planets from bombardment and being exterminated, then you lose the game. But if you fill up the other meter first, you win, and you can go on to the next region where things get concurrently harder. Now, right now, we're mining asteroids. Asteroids are going to give you gas and minerals, which are listed right below our victory conditions and our loss conditions. And so you need these in order to activate the planetary shields. And so I'm just going to try to get a full hold real fast. And basically, I'm trying to beat the pirates to the punch by getting this finished off. There we go. So we're full up on minerals and resources. It looks like there's actually just this one planet that we need to activate, I think. And so we'll just go ahead and do that. Everything in the game functions with the F key. If you're interacting with anything, you're pressing the F key, either tapping or holding down. Now, every single time we activate a planetary shield generator and save the planet from invasion, it's going to drop a bunch of loot. Right here, we've got ship upgrades. And so we can get 100 bucks. Uh, we can get efficient energy routing, so after swapping weapons, your next shot will also dual file our laser. And then we've got integrated systems. When activating a ship ability, it will also fire a laser. Let's try that one right there. It looks like it just fires one little bloop. It just fires one little bullet. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this right here is a gear container. With every gear container, you can either re-roll it. If you re-roll it for the nine credits that are listed right there, it has a chance of upgrading and becoming even better and dropping even more loot, but it also has a chance of downgrading and basically self-destructing. You can get special abilities that modify the percent chances on that, so they increase your chance to upgrade, decrease your chance to destroy the loot, but for right now, all we can really do is open up these crates. We got a little bit of money and we got a little bit of ammo. Our ammo is listed down here in the bottom left. Uh, you have, I think, electrical weapons, you have bullets, you have 
have missiles and I think you have mines are the different weapons. This right here is a special weapon. You can fire it with the E key. It's a napalm launcher. That's actually pretty awesome. You can press the C key in order to swap between guns. Okay, yeah, it definitely shoots a little napalm bomb. All right, sounds good. Another gear container right here. And it looks like there was really nothing in there but money. Now, like, what I like to do before I move on to the next system is I like, this system is safe. Like, it cannot be attacked right now. And so we can actually kind of take our time. And in a certain respect, this game is a little bit relaxing. Like, after you get done with the chaos and the, the planetary defense, which can be very, very stressful. One thing I like about the game is that it manages the juxtaposition between peaceful periods and chaotic periods very, very well. Like, once you finish off a system, you're more than welcome to just fly around and explore, and in fact, there are things on these outlying planets over here. Like, occasionally you'll find loot containers, or you'll find traders, or like events and things like that. And so, feel free. After you save a planet, fly around a little bit and see if you can, like, find anything cool around to make your life easier. Uh, I need to, like, there we go. I was going to say, I need to flip around and kill these guys. Otherwise, this is just not going to work out for me. There we go. I'm going to fly backwards for a minute and see if I can put some bulletry on those pirates right there. They're obviously salty because I stopped them from annihilating this chunk of the sector. And I am the hero, and it's just been a nonstop mango Moscato rain. Like, every time I go down to the planet, they're shaking bottles like we just won NASCAR, dude. And there's, like, alcohol flying everywhere, and they're like, woo, and everybody wants to touch my butt. It's the best. Uh, let's go back to this planet over here, and I'll show you the, the last mechanic you need to be aware of. So after you safely secure every single planet, the last planet that you secure will drop a jump gate. This will take you to the next system where we've got to continue filling up our meters and saving people. Also, I've noticed that the game does have lore, and it does have things that are going to be shouted out from time to time. The downside to that is that it's in this little log right here that can be kind of hard to see sometimes. On one side, I definitely know why they did it, because the screen can be very full of action from time to time, and having like a text box on screen while you're actively dogfighting would definitely get in the way and kind of obfuscate uh, your ability to see the enemy and get your shots off. But I do miss messages every now and again in this bottom right-hand menu that fill you in on lore and stuff that's been happening. Let's launch. Uh, we get to pick what system we want to go to next. I would suggest we go with something simple. Uh, the systems do have modifiers. So, for example, this is a highly populated system, which means that our potential for losses and gains are much higher. This one over here, we get fatter rewards. I was hoping I could find one with high rewards and two planets. Okay. We'll keep it simple for right now. Eh, let's go for a four-planet, dude. Let's go for a four-planet system. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, the first thing that I like to do is I like to look around, and we should probably secure the areas that are the furthest outlying. That tends to be the first thing that I undertake because it's hard to reinforce and get to places that are way along the periphery. Uh, we've got our loot containers over here. We've got a gear container. We've got that guy right there. Okay, I'm going to grab all of these that I possibly can. Lots and lots of loot. We've got an ion spitter. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. What other guns do I have? So I've got the napalm launcher and I've got the ion spitter. That's fine by me. Uh, there's also going to be... Ooh, is there not a jump gate over here? Oh, that's worrisome. I don't love that. Okay, these planets are under attack. The yellow circles on our mini-map are jump gates that will instantly take you to other planets to protect them. So we can instantly jump on over here with obviously really cool pixel art too. And we need to save this place. Oh, that's a that's a traitor that I just shot. That's my bad. He's in the way of the dogfight though, and I'm trying to save this place from orbital bombardment. What you'll note is that they fire things at the planet. And if those things hit the planet, we lose. And so anyways... Let's get on this guy real fast. I'm going to shoot down some of his projectiles. If we lose a couple people, that's okay. I'm not going to be that upset about it. Come on, Ion Splitter. Get his ass. Get him, buddy. Sometimes it can actually be more efficient to actually repower the gate mid-fight, too. There we go. Uh, I need to shoot that down right now, too. There we go. We've successfully napalmed the area. Uh, we can mine the refuse of this ship over here if we wanted to get some more loot. And so what you'll see is it'll drop a whole bunch of goodies. Uh, we can also reload our guns a little bit, although that was only bullets, unfortunately. But it did give us enough to enable this shield right here. There we go. I would also like to shoot you and get your loot. I'm going to come back for these crates. I just don't want to stop right now while I'm in the middle of kind of like defensive positions. Uh, I would like to get my napalm out here. It's not great for mining because it puts down that fire field that'll hurt us if we fly into it. 
but I do need more loot, unfortunately. There we go. Get a little bit of that in there. Very, very poor mining weapon. That's usually why I like to keep around like a laser. Oh, I guess our own flames don't hurt us. That's nice. Come on. Oh, they do hurt us. Never mind. I take it back. Our health is in the top left-hand corner of the screen, just in case you were wondering how damaged our ship is. Uh, repairs in this game and healing are fairly rare, so be careful about the hits that you take. Uh, they will get you into trouble long-term. I'm going to go ahead and put up a shield real fast to neutralize that fire. There we go. And if I can just get a few more resources. Where's our last planet at? It's all the way over there on the right. Okay, and there's another one down to our bottom left. I think we should secure that planet that's far up to the right first. I'm going to fly to this moon over here, and I'm going to try to get something done. Uh, it looks like there's something over here, too. Oh, there's a new ship we can unlock. Nice. Okay. Uh, we did get our ion gun reloaded slightly there. Let's take this on out to here. And let's secure this planet real fast. Okay, that planet has been saved. It's good to go. I am going to grab the ship upgrade so we can get a cache sweaker. It will show you the location of ammo caches. Uh, we can expand our ammo hold, or we can get a sodium bicarbonate filtration system, which means that acid does not damage our ship. I would like to know where ammo caches are, actually. That sounds really, really good. I would love to have that. Got a little bit more ammo right there for the plasma thrower. That's nice. Uh, looks like we've got an acid mine right there. That sounds good. I'll take that. What's this trader got? United Trade Federation for 15. He'll give us a crazy screw in a bob. Okay, I don't know what a crazy screw in a bob is, but I'm not going to worry about it for now. I think we're probably going to have to defend this planet down here before too long. So I'm going to try to get down here and position myself such that I can actively do that for when it kicks off. Like, I don't think we have long till the pirates come again. Uh, this guy right here, he's got seven credits for 21 minerals. Okay, uh, we've got two invaders coming on in. I'm going to try to head these guys off real quick with the plasma thrower. Yeah, we'll just try to give him a little bit of that, that smooth loving from our plasma thrower right there. I'm going to put down an acid mine. Ah, oh, dude, he's already bombing the planet over here. Weak. Okay, uh, let's put down a mine right there. Just kind of around the orbit of the planet. Just to protect a little bit. We took a little bit of damage right there. We are being chased by missiles currently. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's get this fighter off of us real fast. Uh, these guys don't want to die. These guys are putting up a pretty good fight. There we go. Napalm's working. Yep, keep them on fire. Unfortunately, the little pods he's launching are eating up my ability. There we go. I think he's almost dead. It's hard to say. Did this guy get got by the mines? Oh, God, I'm on fire. Okay, I'm going to put it out. It's going to be okay. Everything's going to work out. Oh, there's a mine right there. I backed up right into it. That's what I get for messing around with weapons that I'm not familiar with. Uh, we'll give it another run real fast. Normally, my runs go better than that. Unfortunately, when you're doing dialogue and, like, talking to an audience or whatever, most of your brain power is getting used up on talking to people and explaining things. And it's really this unfortunate circumstance where it causes you to play really, really poorly. Region 1 is usually pretty simple. Unfortunately, I have fumbled the ball, and I have caused the mass extermination of entire planets. Okay, we'll get you couple of missiles being fired out. We'll mine the wreckage of the ship just to get a few more resources. I don't have enough to actually restore the field right now, which I find to be really worrying. I would like to have enough to restore the field. Uh, all of the asteroids do have their own physics. When they fly off like that, they actually stay flying off like that pretty much forever. Uh, I think that should be enough resources. I think. Let's go back and make sure. Is it this planet right here? Yeah, it was this one. All right. So let me see if this is enough. 
Uh, yeah, it took 22 in order to get their shield reactivated, so let's do it. Shield reactivated, looks good to me. Let's find out what our rewards are. So we've got a ship upgrade. We can go with increase the max resources you can carry. When firing your weapon, the ship will sometimes materialize ammo. Uh, we've also got 100 credits. I'm going to increase the amount that I can carry inside my hold, I think. We've got a flame sword. Oh, it is literally a flame sword. Okay, all right, fair enough. Uh, we've got a armor patch kit. That'll heal us, so that's basically a health potion. That would have been integral to saving our booty cheeks during the last dogfight. What are those? Ninja stars? What do the ninja stars do? Oh, they just give us like a little ninja star shield? Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's an ability that's pulled from one of the other ships. What we need to do right now is we need to fly off to the right. We need to go to this asteroid field and get some resources. I'm going to go do that real quick. One quick checkup and a thing that I didn't notice while I was prepping for recording this is that if you go right here into your map with the tab key, it actually saves like your last X number of messages. So that actually pretty much assuages the problem I have with occasionally missing messages right there. And I just didn't even notice that they had them listed inside the map menu. So fair enough. I retract that previous observation. I retract it. I retract it with all of my retractor might. Okay. My retractor beams full effect right now full drain on the full full drain on the reactor now that we're all filled up on resources it's time for just a leisurely crawl back i would actually suggest there's got to be a reason why they put a jump gate on that lower left planet there's got to be like a trader or there's got to be like something good over there so i'm gonna go check it out real fast another thing is you can break this stuff down right here and it will just flatly give you resources uh, so any item that you're not going to be using, you can break down. And I think that's actually a... I wish more games had that. A lot of games just force you to leave the loot laying on the ground. And as a pack rat, that, like, super annoys me. Yeah, there's an ammo cache down here. I was going to say, there's got to be a reason why this gate is down on this barren planet where nobody lives. All right, so back over. We should have enough resources to power up probably two planets when we get here. We have abundant resources on this side. Let's go abundant resources because I can save two out of these planets pretty quickly. It did start us off, though, in kind of like a bad spot. Uh, so we've got one planet right here. So you're saved. We've got a blue planet over here. But I think what I would rather do is protect the one that's on the far right, since it's going to take me longer to get over there. So I'm going to go update their shield real fast and just give them a whole bunch of the planetary defense goo. Oh no, we don't have enough to power this guy up. No! And we've got a planet under attack. We are responding. We are en route. Hold tight. We will take care of your planetary annihilation situation, sir. All right, what do we got going on? So they're firing drop pods to invade the planet, obviously. Kill the missiles, shoot down the drop pods. Oh, there's two of them. Lovely. That's not going to be difficult to deal with at all. Oh, wow. The flame sword's no joke, dude. Uh, flame sword takes care of business. Uh, he is now down. So apparently this is like a capital ship killer. I love it. That's great right there, dude. I couldn't have asked for anything more. Oh, that's so many missiles they just launched at me, dude. I got complacent. I was like, surely the battle is over and my enemies lie in ruins. And then they launched, like, every single thing that they had. They were like, fire everything! If I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. Big cluster B, big cluster B personality energy right there. I respect it. Uh, let's get these guys powered up real fast, since we're already in the neighborhood. And anything we break down should give us enough to save that last planet. So we've got some resources right there. It's mostly money. We've got, um, what is this? A light shield? I'm going to go ahead and break it down for resources. There we go. All right, we'll get that. More money. And then further money. Let's jump gate over to that last planet. Let me grab my ammo first, though. Dude, that sword is ridiculous. That flame sword is what's up. I plan on firmly and aggressively looking for the flame sword on every playthrough from now on. That thing wrecked, it wrecked capital ships like they weren't even there. There we go. So we've saved the system. We get a new upgrade. Increase your ship's max ammo by 10. Allows you to carry more weapons. Okay. 
and then your ship system map shows ammo caches. I want that one. I'm always just like low on ammo and paranoid. I've run out of ammo too many times in this game. What is the death orb? Oh. So here's my problem. I really, really, really like the flame sword. It is the right choice, but the other item that just dropped is a death orb. And so, like, how does one turn down something so awesome as a death orb? Like, how deathy is this death orb? That's my question. Like, what is this, like an antimatter weapon? Does it, like, reduce anything? It hits down to atoms, like Thanos style? Like, it sounds so awesome. And so, like, while I love the flame sword because it is like a meta pick, I am also flatly just very, very fascinated by the prospect of firing something known as a death orb at my enemies. We'll grab these minerals. Let me farm up some resources for the next system so at least we can insta-secure a planet or two. And we're doing pretty well right now. We have no casualties. What's this guy selling? Uh, he's selling, so for 14 gas, he'll give us 24 minerals. No, I, I would like to keep all my resources exactly where they are right now. I would, I would like to keep them sort of secured and stowed away, please. You can shoot down the traitors, by the way. I don't know if there's any, like, consequence for shooting down peaceful traitors. Like, they do have a faction that is denoted, like, on their description or whatever. But, like, I haven't blown up enough trade... I haven't blown up enough trade ships to know exactly what's going to happen, okay? I, d I don't know what the end result is of pissing off the Intergalactic Trade Federation. Like, I, I don't know if that's, like, a big mistake in the context of the universe, or if it's kind of like a slap-on-the-wrist type deal where they're like, Oh, you, just don't do it again. You just fired missiles at me. What little turd thought it was acceptable to fire missiles at your boy? I'm going to put up my shields real fast. There we go. Shields are up. He has a death ray. That's horrifying. I'd rather not get shot with a death ray right now. Almost full on resources. There we go. All right. I think we're fully... Oh, my God. Oh, there's a defense battery right there. Time for the death orb. There we go. That's what's up. Give it to him. Give it to him, death orb. Let him have it. I've only got 56 bullets left. I only have 56 bullets left. I'm going to go get this ammo cache that's all the way up in the top left. Well, I have good news. On my travels over here, there was another pirate uh, there was there was another pirate capital ship and I shot it with the death orb once and it instantaneously died. So I think the death orb is actually probably pretty good. It, it feels like the death orb will suit my needs. A few more ammo crates up here. I was hoping it gave me all ammo for the death orb. The fates have spoken. For 20 bucks, we can get another armor. Yeah, I'll do that. We have a lot of considerable issues that need to be dealt with. I love the recoil on the death orb, how it, like, throws you backwards. That's pretty cool. Now, where was my armor at? There we go. Let me let me get that extra armor right there. Give me that extra armor. So you can only have so much hull, and then everything after that basically gives you those yellow pips, which are armor, which are the effective, like, uh, corollary. Or I guess the same thing as, like, in the Binding of Isaac when you get, like, a white heart, basically. Exact same thing. We could swap out for a new ship right here. I don't know what ship that is, but for 12 units of resources, we could get it. Let's see what it is. How bad a shape is it? It's an acid launcher, and it's got an ion splitter. Can I swap my weapons out on the burl? Or, like, steal its ammo? I have, I have questions. Because that's really what I want to do, is I want to strip the ammo out of this thing. Okay, well, I'll just stick with what I have then. I'm pretty happy with my weapon choices on my current burl. Uh, let's go back over this way, and we will go on to the next system and see if we can liberate a few more and go on to Region 2. Okay, so the next jump for us is we've got four planets over here, and there is the presence of a dead eye. Okay. Let's go see what a dead eye is. I don't think I've run into that event before since I came back to the game, and so let's go see what a dead eye is. Maybe it's like an enemy ace or something. Might be kind of fun to deal with. Might be a little bit enjoyable. All right, planetary defense shield is up. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to warp up to here real quick. I'm going to come back and get my rewards later. So don't stress about it too much. 
Uh, I need asteroids, though, like right now. There we go. A little bit more ammo. That gave us 30 bullets, which is great for mining. We're mostly going to be using the death orb, I think, for like uh, conf like confrontation with the enemy anyways. The machine gun, it kind of loses its luster after you've got something like the death orb. Okay, let's see if we can get to another planet real quick and secure them. Okay, another planet right here. Uh, we can secure this one, so let's go ahead and do it. Okay, planet secured. What is this guy selling? He is selling... What have you got? 20 minerals for two clocks. I don't know what the clocks do. I will take all this stuff, though. Yeah, ammo. There we go. What is this? Uh, repair one armor, a random weapon, or two ammo boxes. I want the ammo boxes. Man, it's only reloading my death orb. Like, I, I, I appreciate the fact that the game really seems to be pushing me in kind of a death orb-like direction. Like, I appreciate that input. Uh, where's the enemy attacking from? Uh, freaking everywhere is the answer to that question. Give me the death orb. Okay, we got one enemy ship down, two enemy ships down. Is that all of them? Are we good here? I think we're good here. They've only got like one little dude left, and I don't think he's going to do anything. Let's go take out the capital ship over on this other side because we've already got lives lost. Oh, we can't get there. That's actually okay. I didn't realize it didn't have a gate. So that's part of the strategy of the game too is identifying what planets have gates that you can get to rapidly and securing the ones that don't have gates first. And so that was kind of my fault for just making poor planning. Uh, yeah, I'm going to shoot some of this down real fast. We'll kind of shoot down some of the drop pods. There we go. We got a death orb out on him. Another death orb out right there. And there's the final death orb. That's going to be the nail in the coffin that's going to conclude the invasion. And the good news is he dropped a whole bunch of scrap. Because I desperately need these resources. Like, there's not a lot of great, like, mining locations. Can I shoot that? Okay, I can shoot that though, right? Yeah, anything with a green outline effectively is something that you can salvage and break down. Uh, can I get you guys secured real fast? I'm sorry about that. That was my bad. I was securing other planets that were in better, better protected positions, and I'm sorry that I've done you like this. Yeah, they gave me less rewards. They're kind of grumpy with me right now. No, I want to keep my laser for mining, I think. And then we'll break you down. And I think we need to jump around and go back to these other planets that we've already secured in order to collect our resources. Oh my god, there's like a full invasion over here. Okay, there's one down. Let's do our best to kind of... Oh my god, there's another one over here too. Okay, yeah, don't love that. There we go, he's down. Woo, the good news is... Oh, he had an upgrader. Nice. Okay, so we can select an upgrade. Reactive shielding. When your ship takes damage, you get a temporary shield. Nice. So it gives us some iframes right there. We can lose all our credits, but now we will find more credits. All right, and then activating a buff station grants you a shield. I kind of like that one right there. I've been playing a lot of Hades lately, and I feel like I get... So if I get hit once, I feel like I always get juggled in games because then I'm not the kind of person that runs away when I take damage. I'm the kind of person that doubles down and is like, no, I'm going to fight you double harder now. And then I end up just taking way, way, way more damage. Uh, just because I get pig-headed and I get stubborn. I'm like, you want to fight me, bro? Like, it's just, it's a thing that has happened to me in the past. Oh, we still had one planet left to shield. Interesting. Okay, we'll finish that off in a second. I need to go get some resources, though. Luckily, there's a jump gate on this place, and we still have a lot of ammo left for the death orb. So, I feel like we're prepared for any sort of conflict that might arise. Uh, there's a couple of ammo crates down here. I'll take them. Looks like there is a pirate station right there. There we go. Shot him down and got some free reloads. Yep, give me all these goodies. Thank you, sir. And honestly, if that other planet gets attacked, what I'll probably do is I'll probably just activate the shield real quick. 
Perfecto. I would like it if the asteroids, like I've noticed the asteroids sometimes have like a little color to them that tells you what you're going to get out. But I would like that to be embellished a little bit more. Like I feel like the gas asteroids and the mineral asteroids should look different from one another. Just for, you know, visual identification. All right, so let's take it on over to this planet. We'll finish off region one, but this is power of 10. I hope you guys liked it. The game is developing at like a breakneck pace. It keeps getting better and better and better. I keep tooting its horn and talking about how good it is, but like, I just, I feel like I need to do more because this game is a lot of fun. My real only complaint about the game is that sometimes it can feel a little bit weird when you're piloting. Like it takes time to get used to the actual movement. Uh, like, cause the movement is kind of absolute. So like, up always makes you go up, backwards always makes you go backwards, but those things happen relative to where the mouse is positioned. And that's fine, except that when you're strafing with the A and the D keys, the same thing happens, which means you can pull off some really cool maneuvers, but there is like a learning curve to figuring out how to pilot the ship properly. Uh, yeah, I'd like to carry more resources, actually. That sounds like a great upgrade. My name is Flattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile every single day in the world of indie games so that you don't have to. I appreciate you all stopping by today and patronizing the channel. I will be back tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet. But up until then, it's time for me to take a little break. Honestly, I've got like, I got this candy bar in the fridge that I've been thinking about. So I think I'm going to go get down on that. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Yes, that is a 24-hour activity for me, eating a candy bar. Yes, to answer your question. Uh, I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for being here.